Let's look at a chemical reaction and some data and see if we can determine the rate orders. So what's the order with respect to the partial pressure of bromine gas in this chemical reaction? Hydrogen gas plus bromine gas makes hydrogen bromide gas. I have some data here, some possible rate orders. Think about those for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, there are two reactants, so it must be second order. B, the coefficient of Br2 is 1, so it will be first order. C, the rate doubles when the Br2 pressure is increased by 4, so a power of 1 half is required. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're looking at a chemical reaction and some data and trying to determine rate orders. So our chemical reaction, hydrogen gas, bromine gas, goes to hydrogen bromide. And some data for initial partial pressures and rates. So let's look at the data carefully. We're trying to determine the rate law. And what we see is if I take the partial pressure of bromine and I increase it by a factor of four, while I hold the partial pressure of hydrogen constant, the rate changes by a factor of two. So here I have some concrete data in terms of the concentration of bromine affecting the rate. When I quadruple the concentration of bromine, holding everything else constant, the rate doubles. So if I'm going to write down a rate law, it sounds like the rate should be proportional to Br2 to the 1 half power, the square root. Quadruple the concentration gives you a doubling of the rate. Well, as long as we're here, what, what about hydrogen? Can we figure that out too, the power with respect to hydrogen or the order with respect to hydrogen? Uh, I can because if you look at these two, then bromine concentration is constant, but I'm doubling the H2 concentration or H2 partial pressure. And when I double the H2 partial pressure, I double the rate holding the Br concentration constant. So that's constant, doesn't matter, folded into the rate constant. Doubling this doubles that, so that should be a power of 1. So what it looks like is our overall power is 1 and a half, or 3 halves, the overall order of the rate is 3 halves. We just asked for the order with respect to Br2, and in that case, it's 1 half. Now, it's interesting to note the actual rate law, as you let this reaction go, is rather complicated. And you can see the kinetics measuring rate laws can give you uh, a very sophisticated picture of the concentrations versus time. But in our simple experiment with initial rates, we determined the initial rate with respect to Br2 is dependent on the square root of the Br2 concentration. So the correct answer here is 1 half.